guys welcome back okay so today I wanted to do a quick little video just kind of talking about something that I kind of think about and make decisions on you know as I'm in my beauty space just kind of looking through my makeup specifically my palettes and trying to figure out you know if I'm going to declutter certain palettes why I'm not using certain palettes what palettes don't really speak to me and different ways that I can make myself use my makeup and love on my makeup or push it out of my collection. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how the idea of this video came about. I was talking to my girls not too long ago about a specific palette that I have that I really, really enjoy when I think about it. But I don't use it and I haven't used it in a long time because I don't know it's just sitting on the shelf it's a rather large palette and it's kind of like I love the shades in there so why am I not using it I mean it probably has something to do with the fact that I have <laughs> too many palettes but aside from that there's certain palettes that I don't even think about you know that are here in my collection so that's how I kind of came up with the topic for this video because I know I have a few palettes like that. It's not because I don't like the shadows at all or the color story or, you know, things like that, but I don't gravitate to those palettes. And because of the fact that I love single shadows so much and I love the flexibility of single shadows just as much as I love palettes, Whenever there are shadows that I can add to my singles collection without buying new singles, I'm here for it, okay? So I know depotting is not something that everybody's into or that everybody likes to do. I actually like to depot. You know, I like to just sit down, turn on my YouTube videos, you know, watch my YouTube friends, listen to some music, and just take my time, tear apart palettes, and try and, you know, get shadows out without breaking them up and stuff like that glue the little magnet on and create a new palette. So I actually like doing that. It's kind of relaxing. So anyways, that's a long intro just to say these palettes that I have in front of me are ones where it's like, I really like the shadows. I like the color stories for the most part, but for whatever reason, I don't use these palettes and I probably never will unless I take the singles out or unless I take the shadows out and put them in my singles. So with that being said, let me just start off with this first one. <laughs> this one is the Glam Light Burger Palette, <laughs> okay? Now, it might be obvious as to why, okay? I know where you don't reach for that palette. For one, it's huge. It's bulky. It's not easy to use. And it can kind of be seen as just like a showpiece or something on your shelf or in your collection that you don't really think about actually using. And I think that's kind of what it is for me. And it's like I'm not really attached. <laughs> I mean, it's cute. It really is. It's cute, right? But I'm not really attached that much to this packaging to where I can't rip this thing apart so I can get to these shadows, okay? So let's just take a quick look at this palette. Very cute. It has that puffy packaging but it is it's big it's bulky it's not really easy to hold and work with and all that stuff when you're trying to do a video and for the most part when i'm putting on makeup i'm either doing something for youtube or for instagram or something you know so yeah the color story is great now also you know when i got my palette very shortly after i received it the shimmers kind of started to like I don't know if it's, you know, the oils that are in the shimmers just kind of leak into the palette, but it's not a good look, you know, like that's not cute to me. <laughs> and I don't particularly like seeing that, you know, I'm just assuming that that's just the oils kind of releasing from the shimmers. But as you can see, it's a beautiful color story and I would definitely play around with these shadows if they were in my singles. So yeah, this is definitely a palette that I am contemplating ripping apart and, you know, trying to get as many of these shadows out in pristine condition. Because that's one thing, though. When you depot your palettes, you take the risk of tearing up your makeup because if it doesn't come out, it can break up, crumble up, all that stuff. So, yeah, but this is one that's like high on my list. 
too deep hot, okay? Now this next palette here is one that actually is really very special to me. This is the Alma palette from Amy Loves Makeup when she did her collab with Amy Hart Beauty or whatever the name of the brand is, I don't know. But you know, I guess they had a falling out. I don't know the specifics of the situation, but I know that they parted ways and not on a good note. So because of the fact that I support Amy, I love the fact that I have her palette. You know, her first collab palette is beautiful. She put her heart and soul into this palette. It is amazing, okay? I love this palette and I really don't wanna tear it up, but it's kind of like, what am I gonna do with it, you know? Once again, when I do my makeup, it's on YouTube or Instagram and these shadows are the bomb, so although i hate to tear this palette up you know because it's amy's palette because of the fact that you know there was discord between her and the brand i don't really know if she would care much amy let me know <laughs> but i want these shadows i want to play with these shadows i want these in my single collection so this is definitely one that might get depotted and just kind of put in a separate little palette so that i can use the singles um, and still, you know, use these beautiful shadows that Amy chose. So yeah, that's one that's a little bit, you know, kind of have weird feelings about. Now these two palettes here, I honestly, I couldn't care less. This is the Sourlicious and the Candylicious. Now this brand, Bombshell Cosmetica, Bombshell Lashes or whatever, they were really doing some shady stuff, okay? Now, me personally, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. I placed my orders, paid my money, got my shipments, you know? So I don't have any like story to tell about having issues or going through any kind of drama with getting my order and stuff like that. Um, and I'm thankful for that, but there's so many people out there that had issues with not getting their order, getting the wrong stuff, getting the runaround company going out of business and not shipping anybody's products and stuff to where it's like, I'm never going to use these. I'm never going to talk about this brand. I'm never going to promote it. So what do I do? Because I mean, these palettes have some, <laughs> some really pretty shadows in them. Okay. Like really pretty shadows. And you know, I'm, I'm not going to use them in a video or anything like that, but I could definitely add these to my singles and use them to play around with when I'm creating palettes and stuff like that. I can easily use these shadows without mentioning the brand. They're out of business anyway, you know what I mean? So yeah, this one, this Sourlicious as well as this Candylicious, um... You know, if you have these palettes, let me know down below if you have these palettes, if you were actually someone who got your product like I did. But this is what the first palette that I got from them looks like. And, you know, I definitely would use these colors for sure in my singles, um, you know, just creating palettes and playing around with them. So, yeah, I don't care about tearing these up. They're really cute and all, but too much drama surrounded by these and... I'm going to take these shades out of these palettes <laughs> for sure. Now, this next palette is kind of like, mm, I don't know. I might, I might not. I actually just kind of, you know, brought this palette out when I did my video talking about, you know, trying to look through my collection and talk myself out of buying the new releases and stuff. And this palette I pulled out to uh, talk about, you know, with the blue palettes and stuff. So this is the Face Candy Atlantis palette that I got from Shop Hush when they were still a thing. And I really love this palette. I mean, the color story in this palette is beautiful. So I'm definitely not going to give it away or declutter it or anything like that. But because of the fact that I have the Ace Beauty Oceanic, I have my girl DJ's The Reason Holiday palette, you know, beautiful blue color stories, I don't necessarily need this in palette form. So with this being a palette that I can actually, and this is one that is already magnetic, okay? If you have this palette, I don't know if you know, but these shadows are magnetic. You can pop them right out with a magnet <laughs> and 
you know, move them around, use them with your singles, whatever you want to do. Since, you know, face candy and bad habit and stuff is not really a thing anymore, I wouldn't use this palette per se. But I would definitely use these colors because they are so pretty. Well, here's the one I took out. <laughs> They're so gorgeous. So, so pretty. I love this palette. So this is the one I'm definitely going to dismantle and add them to my singles because they're really, really pretty. Now, this next group of palettes here, I actually bought because I wanted to try this brand out. And I think I only used one of these palettes. These palettes are from Makeup Obsession and I didn't order them from the brand. I actually ordered these from Target. I saw that they had some in my local Target store, but I could order more, you know, options online and stuff like that. So I did go ahead and order about four of these Makeup Obsession palettes, but I don't know. Once again, I just never um gravitate to using these palettes i think is this the one i actually used um yeah because i used one of these no i think it was this one so as you can see these two palettes are actually kind of similar quite similar i used this one in a video and the look actually came out really really nice i really enjoyed using this so i feel like i would enjoy using their other shadows but because I don't really, you know, think about these palettes, I'm thinking about popping them out and adding them to my singles and just kind of tossing the packaging just to make them more useful to me. Um, so like I said, this is the Belle Jordan. This one's the Life's a Party. Um, I don't know if you guys have these palettes, let me know. I am curious about that. This one is the All We Have Is Now. So this one is really cute. Has some pops of blue in there very very pretty um yeah it's like I'm, <laughs> I'm just looking at these like yeah girl just put those in your singles just put them in your singles and this one I really like the ratty dusk very cute packaging and this is what the shades look like in here because this is not like a typical palette that I would go for but I really like the grunginess of this palette I don't know I just do but it's like, why don't I use it? Why haven't I used it? I love these shades in here, like this green, this blue, this burgundy shade. I really do. But I definitely feel like I would be more apt to use these if they were a part of my singles collection. Now, these are also magnetic. Hello. So it just makes it so easy. I don't have to dig, tear it apart, anything like that. So, so I think I am going to pop these out and add them. To my singles because it's a lot these are what 16 pans and i have four of them so that's quite a few shadows that i can add to my singles they'll get used they'll get loved on and i don't have to buy any new single shadows okay so yeah i think these are definitely getting popped out with that Atlantis palette. Now these two palettes are the palettes that really kind of got me thinking along the lines of I want to depot some more palettes and put them in with my singles. This first one here is the Morphe 39S and I really really like this palette. I really do. It kind of I'm still kind of debating like, do I really want to depot this? Do I? It's so gorgeous. And this color story is beautiful. They look so beautiful in this palette together. But this palette is huge. It really is. And I feel like if I depot this and just put it in, you know, a magnetic palette, it would take up less space. I'd be able to move them around, use the shadows you know, as I feel, when I feel, without having to stick to this palette. So uh, I'm still on the fence about it, you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. <laughs> Should I depot it? Should I not? I don't know, but I never reach for this. And this is a beautiful purple and pinky tone palette. I don't know, but I'm thinking about it. I'm really, really thinking about this one. I could just see those gorgeous purple shades in my singles, you know, getting pulled and used by me. <laughs> now this other one, same size. This is the Morphe 39A, Dare to Create. This was like one of my first huge Morphe palettes that I was just in love with before I realized that I really, really like brighter colors than this. <laughs> 
this palette is very brown. It is very, very brown heavy. A lot of unnecessary shades that I definitely do not need. So if I did depot this, there would be a lot of shades going in the trash. I would keep the greens. I would keep this blue section for sure. I don't even know if I would really keep, I'd probably keep this bright pop right here. But these other shades, I really don't need those. So yeah, this one definitely might get depotted because I might would save like these six, those three. So that's nine. This one here. So that's 10. This is kind of pretty too. Maybe 11 and then I keep that to round it out to a 12 pan. <laughs> so yeah, I could easily turn this into a 12 pan palette that would be more up my alley and more interesting to me at this stage in my makeup loving life. So I don't know, you guys. This one is probably pretty high on the list of depotting along with that burger. Now these next shadows here are not in a palette. But there are a lot of, well, not a lot, I only have five of these really gorgeous single shadows that I got from Nomad Cosmetics. When I bought these, I was just like, oh my gosh, they're so pretty, they're so gorgeous. But it's like I wasn't even really thinking because I already know that I don't like to have singles in their own little compacts. You know, I like them to just be magnetic so I could pop them into one of my own palettes but the colors were so pretty and I love Nomad Cosmetics so I bought these and now I'm just like you know they just sit on my shelf and I never think about them never reach for them they're in this really cute little you know individual compact and this is what they look like look at that blue look how gorgeous that is you know, it has its own little mirror and everything. Very, very cute little single shadow, but I don't use shadows like these at all. I don't even know. Are these magnetic? Nope, they're not. So it would just be too much like right if it was magnetic because then I could just pop it out. But yeah, so I have this blue one. I have another blue one, of course. You guys know I love blue, but this is more of like an aqua, aqua blue. Oh, see, this is really pretty. This is like a minty green. That is really, really pretty. And they're just sitting on my shelf, not getting used or anything. Just sitting there looking pretty in the box. And I can be having these shadows on my eyelids, <laughs> you know, if I would just think about them. Really pretty yellow. Gorgeous yellow shade. And then lastly, I have this kind of like lilac purple. That's pretty as well. Very, very pretty. So yeah, I have these five shadows just sitting here. I don't even know though. I think I would have to like heat up the back. I kind of try to steer away from depotting stuff that's like in hard plastic because it's like you got to heat up the bag. Be careful. It gets super hot. Melt the glue. Try to pull it out. It, it can get kind of tedious <laughs> but these shadows are so pretty so these are definitely on a maybe because I don't want to tear these up but I'm thinking about doing that if you guys have any tips and tricks on depotting stuff like that easily let me know I know there's some videos out there and stuff that I'll check out but still and lastly I just have these two palettes from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. These palettes are actually fairly new to my collection because I purchased them during one of her mega sales, you know, clearing everything out. So I know they're not new, but they're new to me. And, you know, once again, these are super easy because they are already magnetic. This one is the Holy Glow Fantasy. I actually use the yellow shimmer in here in my yellow eye look that I did recently. And these are kind of like those unicorn highlighty type shades. You know, I would never, well, I won't, I can't say I would never use all four of these together <laughs> because I actually would. But, you know, for the most part, I'm not going to think to use all four of these shades together in this palette. So it's not a palette that I would think about grabbing off my shelf like, oh, let me use that. You know, it's like I have to really put some effort into thinking about this palette. <laughs> so I really feel like if I take these out, add them to my Clarity Singles, Give Me Glow Singles, you know, with the larger pans, that I would definitely use these and mix and mingle with my other singles. So 
yeah, this is one that would be easy for me to do because these are magnetic as well and they pop right out. And then this other makeup addiction palette. This one is called the Meadow. Now, while this palette, really, really pretty. This palette, you know, I actually can see myself creating an eye look with. Um, I think I actually did use this palette, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I did. But I love all of the shades in this palette. But when you look at it, it's kind of like, okay, this pink. I could definitely mix and mingle that with some other singles. If I was able to see it, you know, in my singles collection, I would definitely pull that for certain looks. This green for sure would go with some other green singles that I have. This blue right here, I'm always looking for a gorgeous navy blue. Um, I was looking for a navy blue not too long ago in my singles that's like this shade and I totally forgot about this palette wasn't even thinking about it so that's another reason why you know it's like I kind of like let me put all my singles in one place you know I actually dismantled my give me glow palettes because I want all my give me glow singles in one place I still have the actual palette just in case I want to pop them back in for whatever reason but I like all of my singles in one place so I can use them, see them, you know, right there. So this one definitely is probably going to get, you know, dismantled as well because it's nice and easy. They're already magnetic. So that's it, you guys. I just want to do a quick video just talking about some of the palettes that I'm thinking about depotting. Let me know if you guys, I know there are some people that like to watch depotting videos or at least there used to be. I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. I like watching them. I like doing them. <laughs> so if you want to see me tear up this burger palette, tear up these Morphe palettes and turn them into singles, let me know because I'll do that. No problem. Um, but yeah, that's it. So maybe you have some palettes that are just sitting on your shelf and you are really, you know, trying to build up your singles collection and you don't want to buy a whole bunch of the like regular basic shades and stuff like that. You know, you only want to buy the fancy shimmery ones, but you know, you need some, you know, mattes and stuff too. Take a look at some of the palettes that you've never used and think about depotting them and turning them into singles because you can really bulk up your singles collection by doing that. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely hit that like. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to your girl and I will see you on my next video.